Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have Ryan Fitzpatrick gameplay. Now I'm gonna be playing last guys. I have actually tried to record this video two times already. Now I'll say this. Usually when it comes to gameplays, if it's like, you know, I fumble with a running back or I throw a couple picks, it's whatever. I'll keep the gameplay. When I tell you, I rage so hard because this man, Ryan Fitzpatrick, has been the worst quarterback I've ever used in my life. I, I can't make a throw with him. I'm gonna be playing last guys. If he goes into this game and he makes a throw, I'll be surprised because literally. I'll try to throw a five-yard route. If there's even a defender within, like, five yards of Ryan Fitzpatrick, I get under pressure, terrible throw. And he can't throw for crap. The 81 throw power will really, really show. So expect this gameplay to not really be that great, but I don't care. You guys have seen it. It's Ryan Fitzpatrick. It's a gameplay. Can't change how he plays, but he plays pretty dang bad. So that's his stats right there. And you guys can see by the rest of the offense, I'm going to try my very best to not feed Marcus Allen like crazy, but... uh I'm running the ball. I am definitely going to run the ball a few times this game because Fitzpatrick is not the move. Defensively, though, you guys can see the defense. Hopefully, Ryan Fitzpatrick turned to Ryan Fitzmagic. Let's get into the gameplay. So it looks like my opponent is going to be one of those guys that likes to run a lot of hurry up, and you can hurry up and get sacked. So we are using the Dolphins jersey in today's gameplay. I decided to go with the Dolphins since he's in the Dolphins. I couldn't decide between going with the Dolphins or the Bucks or the Jets. I was honestly thinking about going with the Jets. Kind of happened with the Dolphins because this guy has the Jets. All right, so now we have the ball on offense, and of course, if you guys want to check out an offensive scheme from the West Coast offense, check out Hot Route Dead Tips. Link is in the description. They also have a defensive ebook from K Mac, who literally went 24 0, one disconnect loss in Weekend League, so his defense is pretty dang good. Check it out. Link's in the description. Hot Route Dot Tips, as yeah, that was accurate, huh? Well, the magic in Ryan Fitz magic is not really working out. Let's see if we can find Jerry Rice over the middle, and I don't think he's going to be on. We have Kittle open, though. Can we hit that throw? Let's go, Kittle. Good pass, too. I'm going to try and find Torrey Holt. Let's see if we can hit Holt over here on maybe a fade route. Let's see how the defense plays this, which it looks like he's probably not going to be open. We do have Y open, though. Marcus Allen in the flats, turning up the field and picking up a first down. We're actually moving the ball right now with Ryan Fitzpatrick. I am thoroughly surprised. Let's see if we can hit. I think Kittle's probably going to be so wide open. Looks like Kittle's actually not going to be open. And, all right. High point fade back at the end zone, OBJ. Let's go. Nice little throw there, and of course, I made Justin Tucker look like Cody Parkey as he hits Evan Ingram, who's going to pick up a gain of 15. Kind of expecting a you know, run here to the left side with Phil Lindsay. If he does go to the run, I'm going to be all over that, and of course, it's not a run. He's going to be chugging it to the end zone. All right, touchdown. So he scored pretty easily. Now we got to come in here and do something with our drives. We're going to find Torrey Holt open the flats here. I am so shocked he's making decent throws. I think we might have OBJ open here if we can get to this corner route, which I think OBJ is definitely going to be open. That's a pretty good throw, too. Might have Odell open here on this streak. He does have the uh, streak specialist, and I think OBJ is going to be open to the outside. Let's go, Odell. I was not counting on an aggressive catch there, but I was kind of counting on OBJ to just beat him with speed. Instead, got the aggressive catch, and guess what? That's the type of pass you can expect. Trying to throw another high point pass there to OBJ, and that one didn't work. So let's see if we can low point pass this to Kittle. Really just depends on my opponent's user. Kittle! Wow. He intercepted that? Okay, great play. Once again, I'm sending another blitz at my opponent here on second and nine. Let's see if he tries to switch anything up and go to like a streak. Nothing's open. Earl Thomas with the interception. Figured I could bait him right there. All right. I think my opponent actually just quit out, so let's get into another one. He's got Patrick Holmes, he's got Todd Gurley, looks like Michael Thomas, Tyree Kill, DeAndre Hopkins, Torrey Holt. It's definitely a pretty solid squad as nothing seems to open and of course something gets open the corner route. What is my opponent going to go to next? Probably a run with Todd Gurley, which he does and Khalil Mack gets the tackle. Thank you Khalil Mack for the tackle. Now in second 11 though, I feel like he might actually go back to the run. Nope, it is going to be a pass, watching out for the flats and again the corner route, Gilmore, you got to play that. Gilmore's standing right there, but he just didn't make a play on the ball. Let's see if he's going to go back to the run. I don't I don't think he is going to go back to the run. I honestly feel like this is going to be a pass. And he's motioning over Tyreek Hill now, so it's probably going to be a pass. No, it actually is going to be a run play. And again, Khalil Mack a tackle. 
Gilmore, if you get beat on this corner route, if he throws a corner route over there and Gilmore doesn't defend it, I am going to be super mad. And of course, he throws the dang corner route. Ramsey can't defend it. I don't understand because I literally have Gilmore in a purple over there, but he's not playing the purple. And this is going to be a run. You can see he's highlighting on Marcus Allen. As he runs it, Gurley doesn't go anywhere. Well, he has been able to run the ball on me, but besides that, he's been able to do basically everything else and anything else that he decides to. I put Khalil Mack in a flat over there. Hopefully, we'll shut down something, and Todd Gurley getting the catch. Okay, defense, time to step it up. Third and four. I think it's going to be a run, but I'm honestly not sure. He just flipped people, so I don't know what he's going to go to here. I'm expecting a run to the left, though. Or maybe it's going to be right at the middle. No, it is going to be right at the middle. It's an RPO. Arnold Thomas got stiff-armed, but we still stopped him. He's going for it on fourth and inches from the one yard line. I don't, you know, I, I would probably go for it here too. I think it's probably going to be a fullback dive. I'm bringing in Ramsey. There's no way it's a toss. It is a fullback dive. Can we stop him? We pull him into the end zone, man. Of course, we pulled that man into the end zone when we could have stopped him instead. Marcus Allen in the flats. Good catch. He's kind of lurking that though. So now I know he's about to send a blitz and he's going to try to lurk my running back. So what I'll do is have both of my running backs coming out of the backfield. He can't guard them both. And Zeke is going to be wide open to pick up the first down and pick up a lot more all the way down to the 50. I don't think he's going to do that same exact thing, but I am going to try to go to Jerry Rice and chuck it deep if he brings that safety down more, which it looks like he's not. But Marcus Allen is going to be wide open once again, hitting a juke boot, breaking a tackle, and down to 35. Third and seven, can we get Amari Cooper or Kittle open? I think Kittle, let's go, George Kittle with the first down and the stiff arm on Harrison Smith and also a spin move all the way down to the three. Kittle is making big time plays. Now I'm going to run an RPO here, which I think I'm 100% about to throw this out there. So let's see if I should throw it. RPO to the outside, Amari Cooper, get it to the end zone and for the TD. All right, well, he just keeps going back to the corner routes. I'm going to try and switch it up on a cover two with a purple and a flat over there as well. And watch, he's going to throw Torrey Holt open on this corner route, and I'm going to rage. Instead, he actually runs the ball, which, again, is not working. Let's see if he tries to beat me over the top. If he knows it's covered two, he probably will. And he goes over the middle, but guess what? I'm right there with Jamal Adams. I knew he would try to go there. I knew he would figure out it was covered two and try to go there. Well... I'm less smarter than that. Covered that up pretty easily as X should be open here in the flats. Torrey Holt, easy little pick up here. And I did not mean to juke. I definitely could have picked up a lot more. Let's see if I can get this screen pass to work. I honestly think that I might be able to get it off in time. It really just depends how my opponent's defense plays this. And it looks like it's going to be open. Torrey Holt cut into the inside. And fumble. And he's in for a touchdown. All right, so offensively, it has not been going too well for us now. We have a fumble in our books, and we have some great throws from Ryan Fitzpatrick. Let's see if we can get A open here. Someone come back to the ball. Maybe B should be open across his body. Okay, that's actually a pretty solid pass right there from Ryan Fitzpatrick. What you want to turn it up the field? Torrey Holt might just take this one all the way to the house. Why did he not try to tackle me? All right, well, Torrey Holt was able to score there. I'm not sure why he decided to not try to tackle me with Ramsey. Maybe he just knew he wasn't fast enough, but I thought he could tackle me there. Only 45 seconds left. Let's see if we can stop him again. Got to watch the corner routes. You already know he's going to go straight to the corners. As he got another person on a slant, watching that double slant. Over the top, Jalen Ramsey coming away with the interception. That's big. Ramsey making a clutch, clutch pick there. Now let's see if we can do something. We still have a little bit of time. So we might be able to go down the field. Ryan Fitzpatrick, why not just chuck it up? OBJ got behind him. Wow, I have no idea how we just pulled that off. But Odell just somehow got behind the defense there. And I probably could have rack out that for a touchdown. But I really didn't think I'd be able to get it there. Jerry Rice, first down, get out of bounds. I guess that's just some of the Fitz magic as OBJ to the inside. Another touchdown. Odell, man, he's killing it. Only seven seconds left. Just don't let him get down the field here. And he can throw a corner out if he wants. He's still not going to have time to get down the field. I'm going to guard the corner. Do not let him catch that Mel Blunt. Get the swat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I cannot believe I played it safe. Went for the swat. Because I went for the swat, he ended up catching the ball for a touchdown. What is wrong with this game, man? Jerry Rice over the middle. Good catch. And break the tackle. I, I can't believe that. All right, Odell, let's see if we can beat him down the field. Odell on a streak. I think we might have him beat OBJ down the field. I actually thought he had him beaten speed, but dress catch. Man, Odell is just absolutely cooking this dude. Let's see if Odell's going to be open again in the flats. Looks like we have A open, Kittle, and in for the touchdown. And yes, I did miss the extra point. I Cody Park it again. 
It's just my luck. It's just what I do on extra points. Todd Gurley, again, not going anywhere this game. I'm running man coverage here in fourth and eight. I'm really hoping this turns out well for me. As nothing really seems open. I, I'm going for the swat. Okay, if he would have caught it. All right, Jerry Rice crossed the middle. Looks like he's not going to be open. I don't really see anything open. Fitzpatrick, show me them legs. Ryan Fitzpatrick with the fumble. <laughs> We might have Torrey Holt open in the back of the end zone here on this in route, which I think he is going to be open. I'm throwing it. Another touchdown for Fitzpatrick. So Fitzpatrick is actually playing pretty dang good in this game, and he played really bad for me before. Two-point conversion's good. I guess he thought that he could just catch me, like, really off guard there if he ran the ball in third and 18. Didn't really work out for him, and chucking it deep didn't work out for him either. Fitz Magic is back out on offense, and I think we can honestly, just as soon as we hike the ball here, chuck it out to X, which is going to be Jerry Rice, and he should be able to come down with it very, very easily for the first down. Also, do want to apologize, of course, I live in Florida, it's currently storming outside, so if you guys hear any thunder, some loud thunder, I, I do apologize for that, as Jerry Rice is going to be open, almost picked up the first down. We have thrown for five touchdown passes so far with Ryan Fitzpatrick. That is an incredible statement I never thought I'd say, and that one is going to be incomplete. We've got him backed up now to third and 17. Let's see if we can get some more pressure. I think he's going to try and, like, just chuck it up in verticals. I'm going to watch Torrey Holt, or not Torrey Holt, actually Tyreek Hill. Doesn't have me over here. Now he's chugging up to Torrey Holt, and Holt just mossed Mel Blunt. Okay, just like that, we now only have a seven-point lead, so we've got to preserve this lead. I think B is going to be open. A solid throw. Torrey Holt getting behind the defense, and again, we might just be gone. Not gone. We're down to 13. Okay, I got one more play, and if this doesn't work, then I'm just going to go ahead and kick my field goal, go up by 10 points, and have a minute left, and he has no timeouts. I will gladly take that any day of the week. Try to toss play to the outside. Marcus Allen, I tried to spin. He tackled me. We're going to take our three. 21 seconds left. He does have Bazooka activated, but I guess at this point it doesn't really matter because Mahomes probably throw a 35-yard pass pretty easily without Bazooka activated. Watching the corner routes. Nothing's open, and he's going to check it down and waste a lot of time. Watching out for Gurley out of the backfield. He can go there if he wants, and we get the sack. That probably is going to end the game. All right, guys, final play of the game. There's five seconds left. Is he about to fake spike it on me, or is he actually about to spike the ball? Okay, I don't know why he just came out in a fake spike, but he ended up getting sacked. That's the end of the game. Ryan Fitzpatrick, player of the game, 439 yards and five touchdowns. Definitely was an interesting game play with Ryan Fitzpatrick. He actually played pretty dang solid. With that being said, though, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Fitzpatrick actually showed up in this game. I'm pretty surprised. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.